How do you get across the way a driver feels at 140 miles an hour on a racetrack? That sense of speed is the hardest challenge for a director or game designer, making someone at home feel like they're really behind the wheel. The original concept was to try and bring the speed of the game to life in the real world. My perspective is always to immerse people enough that they get a feeling of what it's like to really be out here, what it's like to be Tanner, absolutely hammering around a track. When you get a call from Jeff Swart in my business and he says, well, I've got this McLaren 12C supercar we turned into a camera car and we need somebody to drive it fast. You want to do it? The answer is hell yes. Well, the first ingredient of the world's fastest camera car is a McLaren. What it turns into is just this ultimate camera car and uh, it's pretty magical to actually ride in it. High performance, high speed, danger, excitement. We can reflect that here in real life exactly the same way you'll see it in the game. This is an absolute amazing concept, and it's great to be working on this project that I've never heard, seen, nothing of this size or scale. It became a math question of what our shutter speed was, what our speed was, what the size of these animated panels would be. The shutter of a camera running at 30 frames per second to the boards going by at exactly the right time. In other words, 30 of these boards going by per second also. And you started realizing that if you did your math right and the car performed right and the driver drove right, it all is going to work. Wow. To be inside and watch this happen live on a monitor in front of me, of suddenly boards that are literally flashing by like this come into sync and sit right there. It's a really unique feeling. You're dealing with just, you know, a screen, two dimensions. Having been in some of those tracks in real life, it's unbelievable the amount of information you get to believe that you're really there. Back in the 1800s, a British mathematician arranged hand-drawn pictures on strips of paper inside a cylinder. When he spun it fast enough, it created the illusion of movement. They call it a zoetrope, and it's the earliest form of movies and animation. Now let's see if we can take those principles and use them to bring the realistic sense of speed in Forza Motorsport 5 to life by turning that racetrack into the world's fastest zoetrope. Ready? And three, two, one, come ahead. <laughs> 